my friends, if you cannot afford a Bamboo Lab H2D, you're broke. You're broke! You're getting poor! So I recently got a comment from one of the viewers, ah, poor American, have a cry and pull yourself together. And maybe next time you won't vote for a psycho that had been telling you for years that he's going to put tariffs on stuff. Guys, I'm here to tell you that this price hike on Bamboo Lab has nothing to do with tariffs, but more with greed. This video is for entertainment purposes only and is based on speculations. I do not have the numbers. Back to the video. So I posted this video three days ago and I got over 7,000 views and the number one comment on this video is that the price stays the same in Europe but the price hike is only in America and it's because of the tariffs. And I'm here to tell you guys the tariffs don't work that way and I mean it, they do but I'm going to show you why it is a price gouging situation. So. If you look at the UK, even the UK has the same price. Uh, and the number one thing is that you guys are saying is because the tariffs, bro, it's the tariffs, the tariffs, the tariffs. So in Europe, you cannot raise the price overnight. It, they have laws to prevent companies from doing that, corporations from doing that. They have a lot of restrictions in Europe. So I don't know if you're a an American company or a, a company from Asia or wherever Europe have very strict rules on how you can operate in their country or in the European Union so in America we don't have those type of laws so you can raise the price whatever price you want you don't really have to justify anything and the the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because it's been less than 90 days and the price already been up twice and and it has nothing to do with tariffs tariffs takes about 90 days because that's how much time it takes for the shipping container to arrive from the port in china to go from the port in china to the port in america it takes about 90 days in the sea so the price you're seeing these are items that bamboo already had in their warehouses in america so the reason why they're they're up in the price is because they can and you can't do anything about it. So either you buy or you don't. So that's the that's the mentality they're going with. I think it has nothing to do with tariffs. The tariffs have not hit yet, guys. It takes about 90 days to see the results of the tariffs because that's how long it takes to ship anything in a container. It takes 90 days from ship date to receive day it's 90 days there's nothing you can do about it so all of these orders happen before the 90 days so if you guys look at your calendar here guys so if you guys can see the calendar the release was March 25th and there was some comments and some evidence out there that they were shipping the items within that week so people were getting their their printer from that first initial launch around april the first april second people are getting them within two weeks which is uh, around what the time it takes to do ground shipping via fedex or ups if you're shipping them from california from the warehouse so the same thing goes with the next launch the next launch that they did was around april something around this time here and again it took another two more weeks to get the packages and then the next launch which is this one is on the april 22nd that's less than a month guys and they already raised the price twice so i don't know how does that make any sense guys make it make sense the math is not mathing guys i don't know how did they come up with this number they just jacked it up because they can and there's nobody regulating them in the US so they can do whatever they want. I got a comment from another viewer where they stated that maybe Bamboo Lab is raising the prices to recover the losses for sending out all these free printers to all these YouTubers to brainwash their viewers. I don't know, that sounds very interesting. I did notice that all the videos came out at the same time and it was coordinated almost 
just to flood you two with this information if this printer is so good why do you need to spend so much money advertising it and a lot of the youtubers they use they're big youtubers i mean cnc kitchen frankly built these guys have over a million subscribers so they're not cheap before we get into that some disclosures these printers were provided to me free of charge by bamboo lab printers were provided to me free of charge by bamboo lab yes that youtuber on that table it's at least ten thousand dollars or eight thousand dollars worth of printers um I, that's not even including uh fedex shipping which is a little bit more expensive if you don't do ground shipping so it looked like he got it freighted to his house so that looks like a lot of money sitting on the table there do you guys feel like bamboo lab is gaslighting us i saw on tiktok <laughs> you have all the symptoms <laughs> and you're gaslighting me <laughs> you're gaslighting Gaslighting is the manipulation of someone into questioning their own real perception of reality. So guys, I don't know about you guys, but it seems like everybody's trying to tell me that I'm wrong, that you're asking questions. I feel like I'm asking just questions. Like, is this printer really worth what they're charging? Is really, is tariff really involved in it? I don't think tariffs are the reason why the prices are up is the quality ready i think there's a lot of things that need to be fixed before this printer is like a hundred percent tuned i'm not telling you guys not to go buy it if you want to buy it go ahead by all means go buy it this it probably prints all right in the center of the bed there is some leveling issues there is some heating issues actually on the build plate it's just too big it consumes a lot of power um that was a lot of things that people say that this thing is a power hog it just soaks up the power so if you guys are, are have the money to buy the printer use up all the power and get okay prints like just every other printer they all have the same problem all 3d printers they have layer lines and you can't get rid of the layer lines here's what's really cool when it senses hey there's a fire it shuts the top flap it closes the back, it tries to starve it of oxygen, and it goes wee wee wee, and it sets off an alarm. And I, I liked seeing that, because when we talk about lasers and new people getting into lasers, there's a lot of different safety concerns compared to- Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.